Unless you were slightly disturbed, you would probably prefer to watch a video with less misery and misfortune. In this video, I chronicle the look of Esme Gigi Genevieve Squalor from The Slippery Slope, part one. It is a depressing tale, and you, on the other hand, should watch a happier video and click off this one immediately. If you haven't guessed, we're back to a series of unfortunate events, and we're taking on Esme's first look, first true look, on Mount Fraught, where she's decked out in pigtails and a fur hat and a fur coat. I don't have any of those, so... But without further ado, let's get started on Esme's first Mount Fraught, a slippery slope makeup look. So, I already started my face with... Alne TLC Foundation, and I prepped my lids with oops, Thank Me Later Primer from Elizabeth Mott. Figuring out Esme's eyeshadow for this part of the Slippery Slope episode was a little complicated because there's not many pictures of it online, so I just stand in front of my uh, TV watching Netflix and taking pictures with my camera, and it was still kind of hard to tell. But from what I could decipher, about three quarters of the eyelid is a silver gray and then one quarter left is a, a goldish, and then she has a uh, slightly cut crease and some highlighter on the brow bone. So I'm going to try to do something similar to that. So from one of my Too Faced palettes, this was the Best Year Ever palette in 2018. So I'm going to take the shade <laughs> Fa La 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 La, that gray shade there, and put that on three quarters of the eye. Then I'm going to top it with Glittered, that silver shade there. Now to go on with Glittered. I'm going to take a little bit of this goldish bronze shade, party over here, and put that on the corner that's left of the eye. We're going to take a darker gray shade, this one's from MAC, and run that with a small brush gently through the crease, and then ever so slightly wing it out. And then we're going to gently blend everything with a blending brush. And we're going to go into some liquid liner. My liner of choice at the moment is from this lovely brand that I cannot pronounce. It's great. I got it in my Ipsy bag. I love it. So we're going to run this along the top lash line. eyes are pretty wide and bright, so we're going to put some white eyeliner on the bottom waterline. Then it kind of depends on the scene. It looks like she has black liner along the lower lash line, but it also looks like she has silver in different scenes. So I'll do a little bit of both because I can't really decide. So I'm going to take the shade Black Tide from MAC and run that along the lower lash line. Then 
and I'm gonna go back in with some of the silver shade glittered and put that along the lower lash line as well. brow bone we're gonna take a white eyeshadow with a bunch of shimmer in it the shade polyester bride from urban decay And I'm gonna use Fully Charged Mascara from Pure Cosmetics and put that on the top and bottom lashes. Now for my least favorite part because I'm so terrible at them. False lashes, because Esme always has false lashes. Uh, these are from ELF, Elf, Dramatic Lash Kit. And I will attempt to put these on. For her contour, I went with my trusty NYX palette, and I'm going to take that shade and start it right around here where this little part of my ear is, just about halfway under the uh, cheekbone. And taking an icy white highlighter from NYX, put that on the high points. Then for Esme's lipstick, I'm going to take this shade from NYX. It's NYX. Extreme Shine Lip Cream in Absolute Red. Here we have our finished Esme makeup look. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, do not check out the blog. Do not check out the other videos I did of Esme and some of the other characters from the series Unfortunate Events. And last you enjoy Misery. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.